So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here and today I would like to talk about upgrading microscopes and specifically not about uh, exchanging parts of the microscope but buying a completely new microscope model after you've already gained a little bit of experience and uh, when you feel that it's time to go for something a little bit more expensive or different at least. And uh, in order to answer this, uh, I'd like to first read out a question, of course. Um, and uh, it goes like this here. Oliver, in January 2018, I found your channel and I first watched your video on how to choose a microscope. Then I decided at that instant uh, to buy a school level introductory microscope. I have almost completed two and a half years with it and I've gained a lot of experience from my mistakes. Do you think uh, that after this much time I should advance in my hobby by buying a new microscope like your Olympus? And if yes, then should I buy one like your old Olympus model or the new ones available in the market like Olympus CX33 or CX43? Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for the question. As a matter of fact, I already thought about uh, making a video about this topic before, but then you were, were a little bit faster by asking. Um, I think the answer, yes, I do have a very strong opinion about this um, and it depends a little bit um, on what your intentions are and also on what your current microscope model is. I do not automatically recommend that you upgrade. Um, let me um, explain. Let's assume that you have an introductory microscope like this one over here. Um, there are several of those on the market, so the actual brand is not so important, but usually what they all have in common is, is um, that they all have uh, relatively small objectives, uh, much smaller than the 160 millimeter standard, but from a picture you might not be able to see the difference quite well, but you will notice that it does not have um, a real condenser here. There's only a disc that you can rotate. And uh, there's, of course, also only one eyepiece, so it's a monocular microscope. Now, those um, introductory microscopes, they can be obtained already uh, yeah, for maybe 70, 80, maybe maximum of around 100 euros or dollars. And they're for their price, they're quite nice. Um, and uh, they're also suitable for children, for field microscopes. And many people actually um, yeah, tried out microscopy by buying those uh, microscopes. Um, and they're fine uh, for the cost. However, um, they are indeed um, a little bit limiting in a certain respect in the sense that the image quality, especially for the higher magnifications, is not um, as good as it could be. The reason being that it does not have um, a condenser with a filter holder. Um, and if you have a microscope like this, then definitely after some time, uh, I definitely would consider upgrading um, to a slightly larger uh, microscope uh, where which actually does have full size optics, maybe even binocular. This means that you can actually uh, look through with both both eyes. So this actually makes it everything much more convenient maybe even trinocular so that you also can attach a camera. Um, and um, of course, uh, in this case, uh, you then also would have um, a condenser and um, also a mechanical stage. Here you only see uh, clips and the mechanical stage would allow you to um, actually uh, yeah, position the slider more precisely and it's simply more convenient. So in this uh, case, it would make sense to upgrade uh, because actually with the new microscope, you do get more features um, and the image quality is also going to be slightly better. You have a filter holder where you can play around with dark field. Um, so it advances your hobby in that sense. If you, however, already have a slightly better model, um, I'm just going to use this one over here as, a, as an example or one that is similar. I mean, it's already significantly larger, as you can see. I mean, it has over here mechanical stage. It has got uh, four objectives, uh, also oil immersion, um, a trinocular head for a camera, of course. Um, and of course, uh, the aforementioned condenser with an aperture diaphragm. Um, if you already have uh, a microscope like this, then I probably would not consider um, upgrading uh, to um, a more expensive microscope like the Olympus uh, CX33 uh, um, or 43. The reason being, um, not that those microscopes are not good, <laughs> but far from it, uh, but you do not gain any new features and therefore you're essentially able to see the same things as you are able to see right now. And it would actually mean that you're going to spend a lot of money, but you're essentially still seeing the same things. Um, and uh, so I would probably say it might not be worth it. 
Yes, the image quality might be a little bit better. The optics might be uh, yeah, more clear a little bit. Um, you get, of course, also a much higher resale value of those microscopes. They're of excellent quality for sure. Uh, but ultimately, if observing is the thing that you want to do, um, then you'll be just fine with the one that you have already. Um, so you're really not really advancing the hobby for yourself um, a lot. You're not seeing uh, new things this way and you're also not expanding um, your horizons in that sense by um, yeah, exploring different uh, microscopic worlds. Um, and that's why, that's why I would say probably it would not be worth it. Now you asked um, if you are considering to upgrade or to change or buy a new microscope, would you buy a new one or um, a used one? And here that is indeed an interesting question because if you interpret a microscopy, amateur microscopy in such a way that you're interested in actually the hardware aspect, that you want to actually um, maintain microscope, do a little bit of maintenance work, that you would like to put your own microscope model together using spare parts, uh, second-hand spare parts. Well, then, of course, I would highly consider um, going the, the second-hand way and buying uh, used models and then possibly also doing a little bit of maintain maintenance work and putting everything together might still be not so cheap because even second-hand microscope and second-hand microscope parts they do have a yeah a market um, and uh, they're sometimes quite sought of for objects um, and therefore uh, might not be quite cheap either um, so if you're interested in the hardware aspect um, and uh, then please uh, go go that way if you are more interested in the observation aspect of a microscopy uh, then i would uh, probably say it might yeah i have a, a different suggestion which i'm gonna mention mention to you um, however um, if there are certain um, optical fe features that you would like to have like i don't know phase contrast for example uh, and and you're interested in putting together your own phase contrast microscope from spare parts uh, secondhand parts well then of course that's again a, a different issue and uh, then of course uh, going the secondhand route might be an option for you. Uh, but if your observation is really uh, very important um, for you and you are not uh, so much interested in also spending the money and the time uh, to put together your own microscope, because after all, don't forget that uh, you might have to wait maybe weeks, maybe months until on eBay you find just the parts that you want, um, then I have a totally different recommendation to advance your hobby. And that recommendation is, is, is well, get yourself a stereo microscope um, honestly uh, they do not cost that much and actually this really does advance your hobby because now you can actually look at a, a different specimens opaque specimens um, and it opens up a different world for you um, you can um, look at the things in a three-dimensional way um, yeah so in a stereoscopic way so nature again looks different under a stereo microscope it's not to be um, underestimated some people are think well actually the magnifies so much less uh, no, but still the subjective impression of the image that you get is, is really remarkable um, the image of an insect I mean it really jumps into your eyes um, and you see the image uh, yeah stereoscopically and this simply gives a very immersive um, impression maybe even much more immersive than uh, with a compound microscope because you do you're kind of missing the uh, the stereoscopic aspect uh, and you also the image is quite quite a flat because uh, the light goes through it and you don't see the surface details and texture as much uh, because the image is very thin and flat and transparent uh, but uh, the stereo microscopes they give you quite a different uh, different picture so that would be actually my recommendation here um, if you want to advance your hobby and or and or um, yeah you just stick with the microscope that you have and try to find microscopy projects that keep you active and that allow you to learn new things um, so f in my case for example um, for me it was actually making youtube videos uh, and to share my experience with you that is the way that i interpreted the hobby and which kind of helps me to self-develop as well and to gain new insights also with the questions that you viewers ask me and this was actually a learning process for me as well and so if you find projects that allow you to learn and uh, to advance yourself and to yeah, teach yourself new things um, then I think this is also a, a good thing and then this does not always require um, new microscopes um, but I understand of course uh, yeah uh, sometimes you have those microscope uh, models out there that you really want to have yeah so I would say I uh, think uh, a little bit about the things that this new microscope uh, should fulfill for you are there any new optical um, yeah, techniques uh, that this uh, allows that, that you 
current microscope does not allow you i mean in my case for example and it's pretty expensive i have to admit i'm really i'm right now saving for a dic microscope um, that is a totally different uh, technique uh, which you cannot get in the low to medium range microscopes um, and that's basically uh, a way how i would like to advance myself of course um, but it doesn't always have to be that expensive and there are many different ways how you can advance microscopy as a hobby and to keep you motivated otherwise there is of course always the danger that sooner or later you risk boredom setting in because you've looked at all the slides that you already looked at and you don't know what else to look at and the water samples they always look kind of you always find the same creatures it's fun and interesting the first couple of times and then sooner or later you already know what to expect um, so it's really important to to kind of keep yourself motivated and therefore i think this uh, your question about advancing the hobby for yourself is a really important one um, but it does not always have to be a a new microscope um, and if it is a new microscope then and consider one that actually offers new features and new possibilities for you that actually will allow you to see more things. Okay, so that's basically just simply my, my opinion on this issue. Do leave your comments uh, as well. Um, and yeah, I know what you've been wondering. <laughs> if you've been a subscriber uh, of this YouTube channel, you're kind of wondering what happened here or where am I? Well, I'm right now in the cellar and I have uh, established here a little yeah, studio. A studio, well, it sounds grand and great. It's actually not. It's just a table here with a nice background um, and I put all of my other things, microscopy things and books uh, around it, uh, around me. You cannot see that, of course, uh, but I think it's a very nice uh, place also to do some some videos here. So that's all. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, please visit the links that I've uh, got below in the description. Also links uh, to my affiliate web shop where you can um, support uh, the channel um, as well. So I basically I put Amazon products uh, into the web shop uh, and I, earn, I do earn a little commission. And this actually also helps me to maintain uh, the YouTube channel and also the website, of course, or the websites because I also have a second website. I think enough for today. Happy micro hunting as always. Uh, see you around next time and bye bye.